Hi, so I'm Rhea Davegan and currently I'm choosing between three colleges more or less. Um, I'm studying business in all three of them. And so my choices are USC, as you can see, the Marshall School, and then Babson, and then Scripps College. However, I think I've narrowed it down to USC, hence the sweatshirt. Yeah, so um, I did like the usual ones, kind of like prestige and what I'm trying to study. Um, campus. I think for me, I I just wanted to be near like a city in the sense that like I wanted to be able to like easily reach an airport to go meet my family, my friends, and um, and just travel around America. I also wanted to ideally have some family in the area because I'm like. I get homesick very easily and otherwise I was pretty chill. I think a lot of my decisions weighed heavily on like the academic opportunities over the social. Um, I think, I don't know, I'm very like happy with how everything worked out but I don't, I don't think I would change anything maybe in the actual process of, of like senior year writing but maybe just the lead up to it I would have just maybe just gotten better grades like <laughs> I mean you know just worked a little bit harder but I mean I'm pretty satisfied I guess with the end result so So, USC has been my dream school since 11th grade, second semester. Fun fact, I was actually on the bus and I was thinking to myself, my grades, it was the beginning of second semester, I was like, my grades are not the best, and, but I know that, I, I, I don't know, I had like an epiphany in class that I wanted to be a music manager, because I'm like, what can I do that incorporates making money but not being like a celebrity, because I can't sing. So I was like, music manager it is. And then I was thinking to myself, what school would be able to give me the academic opportunities to achieve that? And then USC popped into my head, and it just so happens my favorite cousins actually moved to that area in LA just like a couple of months ago. So I was like, like everything is you know coming together. And then I saw the campus, and I was like, oh my god, it's perfect. And so I like put it, I put USC as like my screensaver on my phone. And I was like, all right, I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna do well this semester and go to that school. Like I told myself that. And then now we're here and I got in. Um, I think what's good about SAS is it, it kind of gives a lot of opportunities to like to do leadership and do activities that you're passionate about. Like they, they give you the options, but then it's kind of up to you to like, go um, try out and go like go utilize those options and so I think that's a good thing about SAS is that if you do want to you know try like public speaking or service they have those options and it's just up to you to sign up for them. My counselor I actually love her a lot like she's one of my favorite teachers or people I've worked with. Um, I think she was very helpful in, in kind of just giving me the more like logical factual side of the process than like if what you know all, all like the possible all like the maybe she kind of was just really straightforward like here are your grades this is what you need to get in um here are the best ways of getting in like the different programs you should think about and i think she just kind of yeah she gave, she gave me a lot of support but she also gave me the knowledge i needed to know like where to categorize my categorize my schools as safety targets reaches and i think because of that i got a lot of what I expected to come through and I had a lot of like surprises within the safety and target areas. Yeah, I would say because I have a twin sister and we're kind of at different stages of like knowing what we want to do. And I would say as much as it may sound like you may hear like you don't, you don't even know what you want to do and stuff. Honestly, you should begin in 11th grade to start thinking 
what at least field you want to do because that will impact your college process a lot because if you apply to a school just because of the name and you end up going there you're kind of just like and you don't get in you're like oh i didn't get into that school but then you kind of waste that one application on like another school that would have been perfect for like what you're passionate about but you, you never really took the chance to get to know that school because you didn't know you wanted to do it in the first place. I don't know if that makes sense but just start thinking like like of the different things you're interested in and then start pursuing them even if it's like um, activities if you're interested in debate don't try to do like all these different things for numbers do what you're passionate about and be good at that and also don't let I guess like this is my last thing but when you do get rejected or like when you get at that point Honestly, like this is so cliche, but do not let it get to you because I promise you all my friends who've been rejected They're like, oh my life is over Things genuinely will work out when it needs to like I guess like when it's just, like time will tell time honestly will like like I got rejected from my first like my first ED school and I was kind of sad about it, but then I guess like there was always something better waiting at the end line but just always know like there's Something. Don't let it get to you because the best is yet to come. I've just like gotten a more like happier outlook in life and I'm just like very excited and just happy like every day now because it's like everything is finally coming to an end and it's the ending that I wanted so yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Yay, thank you. Okay.